Hello. <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. It is something like 3.33 a.m. Do you know where your kids are? Do you know where your ride is? <laughs> Do you know where your cattle are, your goats? Uh, anyway, the... Uh, What you see in here is the Flat Earth Clock. It's an app. You can change the background. You can see down on the left there, bottom left, a, a globe with gas pressure next to a vacuum. You know, and anyway, I used to believe in the globe until I just realized what, the, you know, how stupid it is. Uh, where is it? Background. There you go. No, that doesn't look right. Okay. Um, uh, I don't even know what that is. Maybe there's more to it than I know. Bang. Okay. Uh, you can change the background somehow. There should be like, oh, there it is, the gear thing, obviously, settings. Duh. Okay, settings. Settings. Okay, so you can... You know, change the background. Just, they're pretty. Some of them are scenery. Some of them are... They're on the right there. You see a high-altitude balloon at 120,000 feet or thereabouts. You know, perfectly flat horizon. Some neat, neat things. Some of them are Antarctica ice wall. Crepuscular rays. Close sun, supposedly. I don't... That's one that I would not argue as a proof because the sunlight going through trees does the same thing so anyway so th that's not one that i would ever like i don't i don't i don't want to deal with gravity satellites you know they're just you know the ice wall you can't prove any of that makes sense the firmament however is something that you can prove and they are proving it with photographs. Um, what did Werner von Braun put on his gravestone? Have his wife put on his gravestone? Psalm 19, verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of Yah. And the firmament speaks forth, proclaims, shouts out his handiwork, his craftsmanship. What did the creator of this entire operation do on the second day of creation? That's when he created the firmament. I need a ceiling fan is what I need. Something to move that hot air up there down to my feet. Or get a better pair of boots. Um, so, second day of creation, he created the firmament. Kent Hovind and Ken Ham answers are not in Genesis because they totally disregard Genesis. Kent Hovind, who is actually liked by atheists. Why is he liked by atheists? Because he supports the basis of their whole paradigm. Their scientism, their science falsely so called. He supports it. So they like him for good reason. Why do I say Ken, Ken Ham answers is not Genesis? Because he totally disregards Genesis. What happened on the first day of creation? Anybody? Class? Eh? Let there be light. And it was so. so. Let me show you what happened on the first day of creation. What you're seeing right there. What's all them colors at sunrises and sunsets? Why do those happen? Well, I'll tell you, class. There's a really good video by Dan Dimension. D-A-N, like dimension. Fourth, fifth dimension, fourth dimension. Uh, Dan Dimension. I'll look up the title and try to put it on the blah, blah, blah. 
the link. But what you see when you see a really awesome sunrise or sunset, and it was amazing, <laughs> pretty cool. I was talking to Bill's wife, Shirley, one day. She showed me her, her. She loves taking pictures every single day. She's out before the sun rises and watching the sun come up and just fascinated by it. And I told her, I says, you know, uh, what causes those different colors, purples and reds? And some people just love purple in sunrises. Hint, hint. Um, mm, no, we'll take that one. This is probably not what we're talking about. That's not really a good one. But anyway, the different colors. What what causes those colors? Well, let there be light. And there was light, and you all saw that it was good. What are your lightest elements? Look at a periodic table. What are your lightest elements? Helium, krypton, argon, xenon, and surely knew enough of them that they're called noble gases. What makes a neon light? Neon with electricity run through it. You put neon in a bulb, put electricity through it, you have light. Um, a Lakovsky multi-wave oscillator and many Rife generators use neon, krypton, xenon, argon, in tubes and run electricity through them and they all are different colors all the colors of the rainbow i believe are close to it so my uh my contention is or dan dimensions contention is i think it's one, they're light they rise up in the air and when there's electricity coming near them or if there's electricity which the earth is a giant battery if you understand i've talked about this before but what you're seeing there on the dial there in the middle is the North Pole. Where's the magnetic center of the Earth? North Pole. Okay, so there's a magnetic power there. All magnetism is electrical. All electricity is magnetic. The North Pole generates electricity. What you see there is a gigantic battery. The oceans are what? Are they salt water? Duh. Yeah. And uh, they're salt water. And they... Uh, or an electrolytic solution. If you take a nail and then, you know, salt water, you can make electricity. Stick uh, two probes in a lemon, you can run a clock. Stick two probes in a potato, you can run a clock. So salt and metals generates a, a negative terminal and a positive terminal makes electricity. Okay, so the earth masses are a negative and so you have a, a terminal in the center and a terminal at the outside, and you have a battery. And what goes around and around and around? The sun and the moon. And like I said, one time I was walking up just right outside here, and I was walking up the thing, and, I, and I, the thought went through my head that there's no such thing as uh, perpetual motion machines. And the father said, look up at the sky, and the sun and the moon were both up there. And he goes like, looks like a perpetual motion machine to me. I mean, basically, that's the thoughts that went through my head. I can blame it on, you know, my craziness or the Lord. But yeah, he's the one that created the whole thing. So now watch this. This is really cool. I'm going to do tower, towerly, towerly I'm lapse. Hourly down there. Time lapse, hourly and daily, right? So here we go. I'm going to do hourly. Boom. Now see the sun and the moon. This is, this was current time. Now on the top left there you see, um, the time okay so i'm going to stop that one because it doesn't show quite now the daily is super cool because you see the sun and the moon you know moving and crossing and what you have during an eclipse is you dial this back or dial it forward to an eclipse and you'll see the sun and the moon on the same track and crossing each other now see we just came off of a new moon now, right there, close to it is coming on Sabbath. Right now, that's uh, Sabbath, right there, whatever date that was. And you can look at a lunar calendar and see that, yeah, that's that's exactly the case. Well, if you understand lunar calendar, we're coming on another Sabbath. <laughs> the 8th, the 15th, 22nd, and the 29th of every month, 
since creation have been Sabbaths. The idea of a every seven days Sabbath since creation is made up by the you-know-whos that rhymes with you-know-whos, whos, whos, the Jews, Vatican, whoever, you know, the Gregorian calendar, and the, so pretty awesome, and you can see the dark, the sun is a spotlight, so it does not, um, I'm going to hit jump three months, you know, it doesn't light up the whole earth, I mean, it, Everybody has fixed in their mind that, the, oh, the sun is uh, 400,000 times bigger than the earth. No. Why does the sun and the moon appear to be exactly the same size? Duh. Because they are exactly the same size. So, I, I didn't get what it did with three months. Oh. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. November 7th. February 7th. Okay. So four of those would give you the, uh, now how do you stop that? I have no idea. Hmm. No idea on that one. So, new version, yeah. Um, Thursday, February 7th, okay. So if you went six months, it would show you where the sun and the moon are six months from now. <coughs> no big deal. So anyway, little science lesson. Now, my point is, I'm just showing you this, and it's a two ninety nine, but man, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can also set, um, where was the settings? You can set, up, set a t thing for coming events, name of event, countdown timer, time for event, and then set. So if there's an eclipse coming up, you can set it, and then when you're on the main screen, it has countdown timer there until my vacation or... The next eclipse, the next blood moon, the next, uh, what the heck was the last one? Wolf moon? Well, I don't know, whatever. So, here's my, uh, just want to make a quick video here. My point is that at some point, I want to do a, um, my top ten reasons for, there might be seven, there might be ten. Um, there's hundreds. I have, a. Uh, probably 350 playlists on flat earth and i can't even i don't even know how many there are because the ya the yahoo thing the uh youtube thing only allows you to look at when you're logging in new videos i thought i shut it down getting kind of warm in here um, it can only look like 200 or something. I have never sit and counted them, but it's a limit. Because I have 600, probably 700 playlists on my channel. So, I can't add anything to the ones that go beyond that 200, you know, mark. So, I'm SOL on the older playlist. <clears throat> so, someday I might go back and delete some of the ones that I see that aren't quite relevant or combine them into another playlist because I've got a lot of playlists that are like very repetitive on Aircrete, you know, Hobbit Houses, uh, Home Sweet Dome, Dome Sweet Home, something like that, um, Aircrete, Domes, you know, da -da 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 -da. so anyway, I put wood up there to hold the map and I shouldn't even have it up there. The wood that was already cooked off. <clears throat> and my holding system is about ready to collapse. So, at some point in time, yeah. Because, in number one, I, I'm totally... And this was a fascinating thing, too. This friend that came over tonight. I have never... I mean, I was rabidly, fanatically, you know, missionary. Uh, what do you call it? Shot it from the housetops, flat earth for quite a while. And then I just realized, hey, I got other things I got to get done. So... So I had never pushed it on him. I mean, I don't even know. If, and he knew I was flat earth, flat earther. But he came over and he'd been watching a lot of videos and he had a lot of solid things to say. And he says, look, what does the Bible say? You know, and I went, yeah, what does the Bible say? Blow everything else off. If the science disagrees with the Bible, the science is wrong. 
you know, atheists would say the, the Bible's wrong. I'll mention it again, the video that I saw watched one time, I started watching it, I'm like, wow, the guy was mocking the Bible. Um, 